Here's a quick lecture on how to make your life easier with Excel. First thing you want to do with a spreadsheet is make a copy now. I am not kidding. This uh, is the single most useful technique for avoiding errors. First thing I do when I get a spreadsheet is I make a copy and I call it that. This way, if you have any errors, you can go back to the original source. Second, look at the four corners test. This is part of interviewing data. We have uh, see the different uh, rows and just see how far we go down here just to get a sense of the whole um, source of the data. You can uh, define it by going shift command right arrow in a Mac and shift command down arrow. You define the whole spreadsheet that way. freeze the panes. This way you can navigate with your data. I'm defining the first row and then going to window, freeze panes. This way when you scroll down the spreadsheet your headings stick at the top. It's a big deal, believe me. Keep a data diary. This is incredibly important. It can be a simple text file. You can call it data diary. Just keep track of what you're doing. This way, when you're on deadline, you can go back, replicate what you did, find out errors, and answer questions when you're under a lot of deadline pressure. And now, I will conclude with a cheap Excel trick. The function is called COUNTIF. It's basically a way of counting and summarizing text in Excel. What we're going to do here is create a new column, insert a column, we're going to call this thing context, and we're going to go to the bottom of here. We want to find out how many fields are represented by city, how many uh, entries there are. Use count if and define the range here. So much of what we do in data journalism is simple tabulation of material. Um, and we're asking you questions with this. So we've def defined the range. Now we're telling COUNTIF that we're going to count every single thing within that range by using the asterisk wildcard and then close it out. It tells us there are 77 entries that have text here on these rows. You can't, you know, really go by the uh, the Excel numbers here because of the uh, the row numbers, because we have headings and so forth. And then, if you wanted to do a top ten list, just start numbering it. All you need to do is three rows. You define it, and then you you put your cursor in the lower right hand corner. You see how the cursor turned black. This. Is a special function within Excel. Drag it all the way down, and you have now just created a numerical list, your top list. This can be very useful when you're constructing top 10 lists and so forth, and uh, wanted to do some just quick uh, context. That's it for uh, cheap Excel tricks. Thank you very much.